Hey guys, Property Search Think Loudfish. I'm Brad Liggerwood and this is Property Rant. Okay, so today I want to carry on with the theme of uh, the deception of case studies, okay? And it's not really deception in a lot of cases, it's more just presenting certain facts without the full facts. So the onus is on you to make sure you get the, all the facts so you can make a proper decision, okay? Now, case studies are used everywhere and they're used on emails, they're used on websites, you know, um, a lot of times they've got testimonials, all this sort of thing. But what I'm talking about specifically is case studies of how properties performed. So let's take a look at some of the properties that we've had perform over the last various number of years, okay? So, Witham Wharf in Lincoln. Okay, beautiful river front, uh, waterfront in the Brayford there um, development. This was the best development in Lincoln at the time back when we bought it. And we actually got the last 14 on site. The developer just wanted off site, so we got a particularly good price, which is 125. Okay, at the time they were worth about 160s, 170s. All right, so quite a substantial discount in this case. Now, interestingly, if I just told you 125,000, 130,000 pounds profit, okay? Now, me saying profit is actually a deception as well. It's not profit, okay? It's this is how much equity or this is how much has gone up. Profit is after all the costs and all that sort of stuff. So just be careful of that deception because people will say, oh look, 130 grand profit. No, not profit. If you sold it and you got that and then you took away all the fees and taxes, great, okay? So it has gone up 130%, so it looks like 100% return on your money. In actual fact, it's a lot more because you pay, paid a deposit and got a mortgage, all right? And so therefore, that may represent three or four or 500% um, profit or uh, you know, uh, yeah, profit, okay? But the point is here is that that 130,000 is over nine years of ownership. So it works out at 15 grand a year. Still a good investment, okay? And that's been a fantastic investment. And all of these properties, and in fact, pretty much all of our properties, they rent and they stay rented and they very rarely have void periods. Okay, and that's one of the key things too. A lot of people think, you know, they've got to be worried about that. They don't, but that's a story for another thing. So, even though it looks like 100% profit, actually consider it over nine years, 15 grand. That's getting much more accurate about what the real return is. And obviously, the property cycle changes, and in, case, in this case, Lincoln, and this, these are all lived through the recession. So, they're all bought pre or post recession, okay? So, where house prices dropped in most cases, now, let's look at Eco Central. So, Eco Central in Leeds. Leeds dropped considerably. Prices about 30% drops, all right? So, we got in after that happened and got these for about 59 grand. At the time, at the height, they were worth about somewhere between 99 and probably about 120,000, okay? So, 40,000 profit based on this, all right? That 40,000 over seven years is 6K per year. Perhaps not as good as here, but Oh, still okay, and you know what? They're rented, they're great, they're you know, really nice flats, and I think now you'll start to see this, these prices start to go. See, this is the thing, is you can look over a period where you've just had a big capital growth, and you think, wow, these guys are wonderful, they can do that every year. No, they can't, because when you own properties for nine years, and seven years, and six years, you're gonna see them go up in some years, you're gonna see them sit around and do a lot in other years, they might even go down a couple of years, all right, in that 10-year or property cycle. All right, fairways, Milton Keynes, okay, bought for 120, currently 125, you know, six years, 25,000, or about five grand a year, all right? So, you know, not necessarily as good, okay, but you know what, still quite good, they're still making profits over thing. It's certainly not dro uh, dropping in price. And what you'll find now is this is commutable to London, you know, you're gonna see the house prices start to take off because that's what's happening. The cycle, realistically, anywhere outside of London and the commuter town skipped a property cycle, all right? And because of that, what it's meant is values haven't doubled in every seven to 10 years. And we say the biggest assumption in property is it doubles every seven to 10 years. In most cases, it didn't. A lot of London cases, it did, all right? So now you're starting to see these places, and certainly Lincoln's looking up, you know, Leeds is looking up, Milton Keynes is looking up, these places are looking up now. So you start to see, if we do these in two years' time, you might see that the average goes from five to 8K or to 10K, you know, and to six to 12K and to 15K to 30K, who knows, all right? 
depending on the market, depending on the change in fundamentals and a whole range of things. So guys, that just gives you a bit of an idea of how to look at these things. Because oftentimes if we're just saying, look, 125 grand property made 130 grand profit. Okay, great, but over what period? Yeah, over nine years, so it's actually 15 grand per year on average, but that doesn't mean every year it's 15 grand. It could have been zero one year, zero two years, zero three years, and it could have been 80 grand in one year. And that's oftentimes how it goes. Shoots up and then slow, steady growth, and then perhaps falls off the face of the earth and comes back again. Yeah. So guys, hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea about case studies. Have a great day, live with passion.